Happy Sunday everyone. It will be raining. I'm heading into Target right now. And yeah, I didn't vlog any yesterday because I went to a wedding and I just didn't feel like it was like the place to get footage at. But yeah, I'm gonna probably end up doing like a bi-weekly vlog this week. So I won't have this up next week. It'll be up probably like next Sunday instead. But yep, yeah, just like to do a little shopping. And I changed my shoes from my heels that I had on earlier because don't need to be walking in the store in heels. Check out the little dollar section. I always find something over here. Even though all they have is Halloween stuff, man. I don't need any Halloween pumpkin things at all. <laughs> I'm not that festive. I have this little power bank in my basket and these two little makeup pouches. So much stuff in here that I always want, but I try to not do too much in Target because I'll be spending like three, four hundred dollars in here section right now and I'm like I need a new one because this one right here is extremely old but I didn't come here for that I came here for a pair of pants really and just to try them on so I'm gonna try to stick to that but as people say you come in Target and Target just tells you what to buy so yeah these are like super cute and I like this camo cardigan but I feel like I have something already like this <laughs> but I'm not sure Looks like this has been a bust because I don't see anything in here that I came in here for and I'm so annoyed and because I have to order it all. Thanks for graphic tees is the main section of Target. They have my little Star Wars tee and my Whitney tee and the Black Panther tee that I got. <laughs> so yeah, I'm always in here. Always. I was in here like some months ago and I was like, should I get this Aladdin tee? And you know, Will Smith is supposed to be the genie in the upcoming Aladdin next year. So definitely going to grab one of these today. Okay, I had to go to the clearance shoes and aren't these just so adorable? They're like some little fluffy socks, slides. And they're only, they're like $6. So where the tag go to? Oh, yeah, they're $7. So yeah, I'm definitely grabbing these. And I just have some t-shirts so far in here in here today I, only, I spent less than $30 and I got three pair of shoes and a little makeup purse I put the t-shirts back because it was just a no for me now I'm just taking a walk on the wild side by not letting my umbrella up but it's more so sprinkling right now it's not really raining too much heading in to pick up my order at Hooks Fish and Chicken that's when I ordered the whole red snapper grilled veggies and yellow rice and I'll show whenever I get to sit down again. <laughs> These are five dollars. I normally get the little simple truth kind, and these are the extra sweet and juicy fruity apples. Or I could get the organic gala apples for five dollars. Trying to think which one do I want to get. Stuffed peppers. I got ground turkey and the peppers. 
and Mexican cheese. I just got these little tuna little snack picks for work. Um, so I have olives, I have apples, and I'm trying to refer back to my little shopping list because I know it's like a couple more items that I need to get. Don't eat me again. I am getting what I normally get, and that's the maple and brown sugar. Because the last time, yeah, where is it at in here? The peanut butter and honey is a definite no. And I've got some yogurt, butter yogurt. These chips are like so good. The healthy and lime, if you haven't tried them, definitely check them out. Remember, this is in my favorites video. Got my water down there, and my little basket is kind of full. I'm out Kroger, and I'm trying to figure out where the heck the cart is. Don't know. looks like I was saying I went to Hook Seafood and Wings is like located in Memphis but um I got the red snapper the grilled red snapper and it comes with yellow rice and grilled veggies that's how we're looking and I'm gonna do a taste test in a minute to see how all of this tastes and I'm just in chill mode or whatever and yep about to eat this and catch up on tv that i've missed this week i know i need to watch black lightning because it's season two and i just can't wait to check that out and some other show i think real housewives may be coming back this week so i need to watch that and married to medicine and that's all i'm gonna do today and i'll check back in either sometime this week or this weekend happy saturday i'm so happy that the rain has stopped Hopefully, fingers crossed, but heading in to do a little thrifting. Hopefully, I come up on something, and I, of course, will show you if I do. Hats, this is like a Nautica, white socks. I don't think is none of these are like, I mean, they have vintage hats, but none of them are to my <laughs> standards. So like, I don't know which one to get because it's similar prints. I think I'm, I know I'm gonna get this one. And these are all like $5.99, but I don't know. Can you get out of my background? Get out of my background. So who cares? I can wear Adidas wherever I want to. You're such a hater. You know, just got to Memphis and about to head into the Nike clearance, see if I can find me some deals. Today is all about finding deals, if you haven't gathered it. Let's see if I can find some in here. I'm about to get hit crossing the street, but guess what? I'm on a crosswalk, so they can't hit me. <laughs> and watch, I don't find nothing in this store, but I figured why not give it a chance. I'm in the kids size uh, six and six half right now. These are kind of cool, but they're not my size. They're the Nike Air Zoom Spirit Mix, but 109. But yeah, I like the color, if nothing else. And they got a pair of Converse in here for all those people that think they can buy Kai Nike, but still wear Converse. <laughs> yeah. have stuff in sizes that don't fit me like these are dope I would grab I would grab those and probably would grab these too but they don't have my size and these right here are kind of calling my name I even have these in here the certix 
I think I'm straight on here. This are the ones I may grab. Since they are my size. Not sure yet though. It's a bust. I didn't find anything in there. And I'm not getting no spiridons just because I wasn't really feeling the color too much. I would have rather had the ones I showed earlier, the royal blue ones. But yeah. Just out and about right now. Out of way haven. I'm seeing people I know and it's never a good thing. But Oh well, the girl told me that they should get like a new shipment in of stuff during the week, so I may come back. We shall see though. About to grab some food. Put my sunglasses on. About to get me something from Flavor House. Waiting on our food. Memphis. Yeah, I see the 901 in here. Kind of leaving out of there. It took forever with my order. I got the chicken jerk quesadilla. Now I'm probably about to link up with my bestie because trying to figure out if we're going to this homecoming game. You can see I have been on the go today. Just came home to grab my shoes and my clothes. About to link up with my best friend so we can get on the road and head to the homecoming at um, Mississippi Valley. So we're like less than two hours away. So see y'all on the road. Wouldn't be us if we didn't have to make a stop. We just made it to Greenwood. <laughs> you don't look bad. <laughs> we made just a little quick stop in Grenada, grabbing something to eat because she just insisted on Pizza Hut. So she's in there grabbing a the pizza and then, yeah, then we're going to be on our way. I'm pretty sure the game and tailgate is over with, but we're just going to go out tonight. Um, it's Mississippi Valley's homecoming. They were playing my school, University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, UAPB, which is why we decided to go to the homecoming. But, of course, we are running late. We're on the road, and it's already dark outside. But, yeah, we'll be there soon, and then we're going to change for our nightlife. Our road trip snacks was half gone. <laughs> But uh, we just got some pizza and wings and stuff for the road. Like, we're not pressed for time, but this is just us. Like, we are always late. Like, at this point, like, we really could just turn around and go back home. That's how late we are. We've missed the game, missed the tailgate, we missed all the festivities. So, we're just going to whatever random party we find out that's going to be like the homecoming party. We're going to do that. And then we're heading right back home because I have stuff to do Sunday and she has stuff to do Sunday. So, Yep, and I don't know where she's at, but I'm ready to go. in the morning right now and we're stopping for gas i'm not going here to pay for the gas right now but um all i can say is that nobody does homecoming like my actual school homecoming i mean valleys was it was decent but yeah it just it wasn't our homecoming <laughs> but yeah i'm about to head into this gas station trying to use the bathroom waiting it's been a long night, but we're not that far from home, like maybe an hour now. This is probably the most stressed down I've ever been leaving Kroger, but yeah, as I stated, last night was, well, last night until this morning, because yeah, I didn't get home until 6 a.m. and it's now like 10 a.m. So, and I've been up since 8 a.m. So yeah, but I didn't vlog me getting groceries. I just got pretty much my same basic items. And that's my Sunday. I'm gonna go home and make the mac and cheese for our family dinner. I may vlog that a little bit, but happy Sunday, everybody. Okay, I guess I will show my little cooking real quick. 
Okay, first you're going to beat these three eggs um, where well, you're going to break them. My mom always told me to rinse the egg off, even if you're not using, obviously, the shell. But she always says to rinse them off and then you crack it um, open into the bowl. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Got your three eggs. Um, we're going to beat these. Of course, I can't do that because I am using one hand to film, one hand to cook with. So, um, yeah, I'm going to beat these and be back with the next step. Now we're just going to add in our evaporated milk right into the egg mixture. Now we're going to be adding in a half and half and you are going to use two cups of half and half. And yes, I'm one of those people that measure out everything. My mom used to eyeball stuff, but <laughs> I have to measure stuff out because I'm not I mean, I've been cooking for some years, but I'm not very, very experienced like that. So, yeah, I'm a recipe and measurer when I cook. That's one cup. Here's cup number two. I'm doing this all while I have my noodles um, boiling right now. So, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. So, you can't really see it, but yeah, while those are boiling and getting al dente um we're doing all the wet ingredients now that's all mixed up i'm gonna start in adding my cheese in little by little and yes i'm measuring this as well you know this is really not you don't have to measure this because you're gonna put a lot of cheese in this macaroni and cheese but um it's just a half cup of like a mozzarella mozzarella and cheddar blend so i'm adding it in and these are like my seasonings of choice i got garlic powder seasoning salt um ground black pepper onion powder and a dash of paprika we're going to add in probably a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of each one maybe a tablespoon not really sure but yeah i'm going to just eyeball the seasonings and this is basically how the mixture is looking now with the season is added in before i mix everything together our noodles are all done i'm going to drain these and let them get um kind of room temp before i add everything and mix it in a casserole dish and i make sure i butter my dish because I don't want anything sticking at all. And be sure to get the side as well. And the main cheese I use is the Velveeta cheese. I'm going to um, cut this up and put this in this mixture. And I'm reserving some of the shredded cheese that I have um, to go on top of the macaroni, obviously. And you can kind of see the clumps of the Velveeta in there because I couldn't get it, you know, cut super thin. And I'm going to add the noodles to this mixture and then add it all to my casserole dish. And you'll be pretty much done after you put it in, in the oven to bake. Okay, and this, I added a little more shredded in here and a little more Velveeta um, cubes in. And then you just mix that all around. I like to make my mac and cheese super creamy and super cheesy. <laughs> and from what I hear, people really love it. So, pass myself on the back. And I'm spreading it out in the dish. And this, um, the reason why I add all of those season seasonings is because it really adds that like soul food touch to it. So like you could just smell this mixture. It smells extremely good. And I'm probably just going to add a little bit more seasoning. And I put it in the oven just like this. And then after it's pretty much all baked, then I come back in and top it with shredded on top. So the cheese on top doesn't brown too quick. And the pasta and everything else cooks evenly. In the oven now, I'm about to put it in here. Um, put it on 350 for like 40 to 45 minutes. Um, come back like in 30, 35 minutes and add your remaining cheese on top. And you have your baked mac and cheese. Okay, this is the Gotta wash the dishes. And that's basically what you want to have. Now I'm going to top this with the shredded cheese. So... Just start sprinkling it on top to make sure you have a thick enough layer on top. And I'm all finished and ready. I'm about to get ready and head out to our family Sunday dinner. I am so casual today. I just did not feel like I just did not feel like putting anything into myself. So I just have on what I had on earlier, basically at the grocery store, except changed my hat and Put different pants and stuff on but you couldn't see that anyway but yeah yeah we're running a little behind time because the mac and cheese is taking a little bit longer to finish than 
I thought it was, but that's okay. I'll show you all um, it when it's completely finished. And it is all finished. And getting ready to be taken to the dinner. Got to the Sunday dinner. We're late, of course. Typically, we're always late, but that's us. <laughs> oh, good.